Hello guys, KP Shamino here and today they released the new patch 053 and I'm going to show you guys the new stuff in that patch. We're getting a new tournament, a best tournament with the first prize is once again a nice amount of money. You can say easily a very nice amount of money. We got spinner baits, we got new uh, casting rods purely for bass and predators. Uh, we got like uh, crows and creatures, new stuff, but I will show you guys in this video. So first of all, I'm going to start the video with the new tournament. So the tournament is going to be held. Let's have a look. And that makes me very happy because it's not in the weekend, because in weekends I always need to work. But this tournament you need to register at the 10th of July. I think that's, if I'm not mistaken, uh, at Sunday. Monday we got then the first three qualifiers. Then we got the semi-final at Tuesday. And we got at Wednesday, we got the final. So it's all about bass. So... In Michigan, we need to get the smallmouth bass. In Florida, we need to go for the largemouth bass. It's once again the 10 biggest fish that you can get. They count. Uh, you can just, if you got 10 fish and got 11, 12 for the guys that don't know, you got a menu and then you can exchange the fish that you want to release. So don't do like me the first time that I went to the uh, qualifier that you first go to your net, you release, you got eight fish. No, it's all automatic. You don't need to do anything. If you get the 11th fish, you can just get one out of your net and you get a new one in your net. Then the third qualifier is Missouri and it's once again large Mount Bass again. And then the semifinals are in North Carolina. So it's not going to be very easy. It's a large Mount Bass and a small Mount Bass that is going to count. And the final is once again in North Carolina again. So a nice tournament. Once again, a nice money prize for playing a game so that's really cool and with this announcement on the tournament they put like a lot of stuff in for bass and predator fish and i will show you guys that so first of all let's have a look at the new rods that we got so let's take rods let's take highest level first and they introduced three new casting rods they are called bass caster uh yeah three of them and of course we got uh, like all other length and what you see right away is that the lure weight is between 10 and 40 g so that means that you can go with this casting rod with very low in weight lures and that's very handy because the most casting rods if i'm not mistaken they are always so high even the the low level ones are always so high in uh, in lure weight and those are very good with lure weight so you can start using them really quick i'm thinking about the spinner uh very low uh, weight spinner uh, medium spoon bass jigs all that stuff like crankbaits uh, wall eye competition bass competition that's really cool so it's really cool uh, new uh, casting rod that we got so you got 200 then you got the 220 and then you got the 242 uh, but i need to check where did they put the 240 uh i put highest level first so did i miss him again so there is a 240 i know there is a 240 but sometimes the search engine is a little bit crazy here is the the best caster 240 and that's probably the one that you can throw the first with so uh but the main problem is here the the lure weight is a little bit higher too so you can you can start with 14 g but that's good you can go with the 14 g spinner medium spoon all that stuff the line weight is 4 to 11 kilograms so that's a very nice uh, amount of fish you can pull with this setup and this is the biggest one so i guess this is the the one that casts the furthest i got this one so i'm going to show you guys after i did the equipment uh, how it works in texas so then you got of course if you got the rod you got of course you got a reel too and this is the casting reel it's it's uh his name is the con seller 3000 you got two of them you got 3000 p and you got 3500 p and s for the guys that don't know s is for speed so you will always see with the s that the recovery is a lot higher than with the power one and the recovery on this uh, new casting reels is very good 85 centimeters so the presentation works really well i already tested a little bit so you got the 3000 so that's 70 
to 80 recovery you can go with a max drag of 10 kilograms and nine and a half kilograms and then if you go to the 3500 that's 85 centimeters recovery and 75 and you can go a little bit higher on the max drag so i would probably fish with uh, with this one I bought this one now, but I think I'm going to use this one for the simple reason that the recovery is 58, uh, 85 centimeters, and that's very important if you want to do a good presentation. Okay, so now it's time for the lures. We got finally spinner baits. I don't have a clue how they work, so I just bought this one. Very important, guys, the spinner baits are not listed with the jig heads, they are listed with the spoons. So if you don't find them in your inventory, I will show you guys, because I was looking to, I was looking to, yeah, where did they put them? And I was uh, scrolling over the, the jig heads, the best jig heads, I mean. Uh, but I didn't saw them. So if you put it here, you will see that they are under spoon and spinners. So here it is, spoon and spinners. Okay, that are the, the new spinner baits. So I didn't test them, but I'm going to test them because I need a lot of practice for the tournament, the best tournament, because I don't fish a lot on bass for the simple reason that I don't like to fish a lot of bass, but I know a lot of people like to fish on bass. So I'm very happy that they introduced finally some very good gear for the bass. Uh, okay, spinner baits. Then we got the, the crow and creatures. And as you guys can see, we got now very heavy, very big crows. So crowfish 10 centimeter. It's a fitting hook of 2.0 and 5.0. So they are very big. You got a lot of them now. So uh, yeah, we, we need to test once again a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm just hoping it's, it's maybe a small uh, hope that I got. But I hope one of them will work for the trophy alligator car. That we can go finally with like a casting rod. We already can do it, I know, with the, with the crankbaits. But the bite pattern is so low compared to the match rod. If we can fit this with like a very heavy jig head on like, let's say, the Cosmo cast. It's going to save us a lot of time on the trophy alligator guard. But fingers crossed, I need to check that out for myself. So I don't know at the moment, but it's a possibility. Because the, the alligator gar likes crawfish, but yeah. You never know in this game, so we need to see. And then for the last, the best jigs, we got like a trillion more best jigs. You got like every shape, every weight, everything you want. So uh, you guys got on a lot of lures that you can use in the next tournament. So that was it. Best jigs, spinner heads, crows and creature. We got three new casting rods and we got four new uh, casting reels. And now it's time. To let you guys see how it works let's go to texas free to travel so i always do this if you want to check some new gear out i just go to over here and i just test some stuff let's have a look that we can throw it at the spot of the spotted bass maybe he bites you never know or maybe we catch the historic salmon you never know it's bugged so maybe it's it's so bugged that you can catch it here that would be really funny so uh, let's have a look where did I equip here it is and you already see it it's very cool gear I think it looks really cool it looks really cool so uh, yeah let's do a throw and I'm first going to show you guys how far you can throw with this stuff because I was really amazed how far I can throw with this stuff so casting rod most of the time that means uh, that you cannot cast that far of course you got the galaxy cast 260 if you put like uh, I think bread on it or mono and then you go with medium spoon you can throw really far but you guys already can see it 47 meters with this setup and it's with the spinner bait so it's not the medium spoon the medium spoon always flies a little bit further in this game because I think it's because of the shape it's like a, a flying stuff but uh, you guys can see presentation three speed is perfect check I don't need to do a lot the control is very good check check it, it goes, yeah, it, it's smooth. Let's go with the two speed just to check it out. Let's have a look that we can do a lift and drop. Oh, check this, guys. Check this. Just just lift and drop three dots right away. Oh, it's such a good, uh, a good rot, this one. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with the three. 
I'm not sure that I can twitch with this. Let's do a one speed. Can I get the twitch in it? No, this is a little bit low. Let's do a two one. Yeah, no, no, it's a little bit too fast. A little bit too fast for the 28 one. But I think I bought the speed. Maybe with the power you can do a twitch. But the lift and drop presentation, right way three. Stop and go, right way three. three. So I'm very happy because that's most of the time a little bit problematic because we needed to go always with the hornet swarm spinning rod but it seems on first sight very very good in control this rod so i'm very happy so a lot of new stuff a new tournament with a nice price so that was it for uh my preview for the patch 053 uh, if you like the movie guys give me a like if you like my channel subscribe please have fun good luck in the tournament have fun with the new gear and i see you guys in the next video bye bye